Discovery is now 470 feet away from the space station. It is uh, passing underneath the station's giant robotic arm. That arm will be the focus of activities later on today after docking. There's going to be a uh, ballet of sorts between Discovery's robotic arm and the station's robotic arm to lift this this uh, Express Logistics Carrier Number 4 out of Discovery's payload bay and to hand that off between the two arms. And ultimately, the uh, station's arm will be used to move over and install ELC-4 on the outside of the station's structure. The way that it will work is that the station's arm will actually lift ELC-4 out of Discovery's payload bay while it is based on the uh, Harmony node. It'll hand it off to Discovery's arm, let go of it, and then at that point, the station's arm will move over to the mobile base structure. It'll take ELC-4 once again, and then uh, move to the install point. ELC-4's ultimate destination will be the starboard side of the station, the S-3 truss. That is out on the side of the station where the Columbus Laboratory is located. The shuttle pretty much holding its distance at 474 feet while it uh, pulls up in front of the International Space Station. But from that distance you get a sense of exactly how big that orbiter actually is. Discovery in the space station about to make a uh, northeastern swing over parts of Europe and then on over toward, toward uh, Russia and then down toward the southeast over parts of Asia. The uh, sun is setting and so those people in uh, Western Europe and in Central Europe should uh, be able to get a uh, quite a spectacular sight as these two vehicles fly independently of one another. Sometimes you can actually make out uh, both of the dots as they fly overhead. But we obviously encourage everyone to uh, log on to the NASA website to find out when you can spot uh, both the Discovery and the space station in the night sky above your hometown. This uh, mission presents the last time to see Discovery flying overhead, so we encourage you to uh, find out if you can see it. There's a great view outside the Kibo laboratory of the Kibo robotic arm there uh, on top of the exposed facility. 
That is an important piece of that uh, Japanese laboratory. The uh, crew cabin of Discovery just now coming into view.